And you? Well, who are you? Who, who are you? Please send questions, comments, conundrums, snarks to idea at wretched.org. And please include your name, just like this email sent from Matt Todd. It's been three years, and I'm still in cage stage. What do I do? Well, believe it or not, Matt, you've at least turned the handle. If you're not familiar with cage stage, it tends to be that time period. It differs for all of us. Some are in there longer than others when we should be locked in a cage or we're going to wreck every relationship that we have. This is the season when you either get saved or you discover, whoa, the Bible is amazing. I had no idea how profound it was. I can't get enough of this book, and I can't get you to get enough of this book and get it right. That is cage stage, when you insist on being right on everything. You allow no quarter for any dissension. Everybody has to think exactly like you and be as fervent as you are to boot. That is cage stage, and many of us have found ourselves in it. Matt is wondering after three years, how do I get out of it? Matt, you've begun your journey because at least you recognize you're in it, and that's probably the first step, admitting you've got a problem. Christians should not be in a cage, and I would like to perhaps encourage you to consider cage stage as a picture of the process of sanctification rather than being sprung totally from the cage. Most likely for the rest of our lives, we're going to be gently brought out of it by the Holy Spirit as he works to conform us into the image of his son. We need to be aware that we need maturity. That's what leaving the cage is all about. It is not suddenly becoming liberal, watering down everything, giving in to every contentious issue. No, that can be a sign of squishiness, but it can also be a sign of maturity when we're not always putting up our dukes, ready to knock somebody out if they don't believe every jot and tittle the way that I do. It starts by recognizing we need maturity. Now, how do you increasingly get removed from the cage once you recognize you shouldn't be in there in the first place? The local church. That's right. You need the local church. You need your brothers and sisters to help you, to lovingly come alongside of you and encourage you when they see growth, and in other times to rebuke you when you're going back in the wrong direction into the cage. The local church is your school of character. It is the place where we should be helping one another. And hopefully the person who helps you has been in the process of leaving the cage for a longer time than you so that they don't treat you the way that you're probably treating others. They're loving you. They're walking alongside of you. They are encouraging you, but they are also pleading with you. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. You know what? Last week in Sunday school, you did a whole lot better <laughs> than this week. Let's keep going, brother. If you're not in a local church, you'll never leave the cages fast. It is as simple as that. The local church is a center of sanctification. And if you're not a member of one, and if you're not planted into one, you are missing out. And most likely, you should be locked in a cage. Furthermore, let me encourage you to just start reading your Bible a little differently. If you're stuck in the cage, you're still in the contentious quarter of your life where everything, <laughs> probably not reading your Bible correctly. You're reading it to store up ammunition so you can fire at somebody as opposed to reading your Bible, yes, to have the knowledge of Jesus Christ, but to grow in your love for him. If you're not reading your Bible that way, then frankly, you're reading it wrongly. Furthermore, if you really want to accelerate your exit from the cage, ask your family for help. That's right, Mr. or Ms. Cage Stager. Engage your family. Let them into your life, because guess what? 
they already know you should be locked in a cage because you're probably trashing your relationships with them too. All right, kids, repeat after me. Ontological nature, say it, say it, and say it right. They know that you're dealing with cage stage where you just feel like you gotta win every battle and everybody better get in alignment with you. Let them help you. It's not going to be easy, but it will grow you. All right, gentlemen, second half. Here's the strategy, psalms, imprecatory psalms. Now take a knee. Let 